Don't just scroll through this video. It's got action, adventure, drama, ro Micro Jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. This week on Woodworking for Mere Mortals, I get to try out my new laser cutter. Wait, did I say laser cutter? I meant to say my 60 year old antique scroll saw. Let me give you a little bit of backstory on this project. These are two characters from a video game called Undertale. This is Sans and this is Papyrus. My son, Wyatt, was really into the game and said, you gotta play this game, you gotta play this game. For those of you who do play Undertale, he walked me through the entire pacifist route. A really amazing game with a great story and it's kind of heartwarming, kind of sad in a way too. So I thought it would be fun to make something special and Undertale related for his birthday. You should also know that I am no expert on the scroll saw. It took me a long time to cut this, but maybe you can pick up a technique or two. Typically on a scroll saw portrait like this, it's reversed. It would all be wood and then the black would show through the cutout areas. I didn't want to do that on this project because I wanted to keep the characters light colored against a black background like they are in the video game. Finally, before I get started, I want to thank two people who are really good at the scroll saw and who helped me out tremendously to figure this out. Bill Wilson and Steve Good. Thanks guys. I have to modify this design a little bit. I need all of the white areas to join together. I'm gonna use thin Baltic birch plywood for this project. The grain direction runs in opposite directions on each of its layers. And that should give it extra strength that'll help keep these thin cuts from breaking apart. I'll attach the printout using spray adhesive. My goal here is to remove all of the black areas. For the inside black areas, I'll need to drill entry holes for the blade. First I'll install the bottom part of the blade using this hex wrench. So I thread this side of the blade through the hole, like that, and then attach this side here. Take the blade back out and repeat that for all of those holes I drilled. Well, I got sands done, now all I need to do is work on papyrus. Well, it took me a long time to cut out those center pieces. Now I'm gonna just try to cut out the outside parts of the shape. That should be a lot easier. The best part is I don't have to keep changing the blade for each cut. Okay, let's see how papyrus turned out. Hey, not too bad. And there's Sands. Well, that turned out to be a lot of work. That took me about six or seven hours to cut these out. I'm sure those of you who are experienced at the scroll saw are probably chuckling right now knowing that you could probably do this in an hour. I'm actually kind of amazed that I didn't break any of these thin pieces apart. I can tell that paper is gonna be hard to peel off, so I'm gonna soak it in mineral spirits. The trick here is you really have to saturate that paper and let it sit for a while.
In my Audible Spot last month, I asked for your book recommendations. One of you recommended Rewinder by Brett Battles. If you're a fan of sci-fi and alternate universe stories, you'll really like Rewinder. It's a different kind of time travel story. Much of the story takes place in modern day Los Angeles, but not the LA it's supposed to be for Denny. He's a rewinder whose job it is to travel back into time to witness and verify family histories for the long entrenched caste system and social hierarchy. You see, in his universe, the American Revolution failed and an oppressive British Empire rules the modern world. As you can expect, there are the usual time paradoxes to cause your head to explode and a very important 12 seconds that changes history. Don't forget, you can download this or any of over 180,000 audiobooks free by going to audible.com slash woodworking. So let me know, do you have a favorite time travel story? Leave a recommendation in the comments so I can add it to my wish list. Well, I am so happy with the way this turned out. I think it looks really cool. It's a lot of fun using a scroll saw. I think if I spent more time at it, I would get better. And if I got a newer scroll saw, I think I would have better luck with it. Thank you all for joining me this week on Woodworking for Mere Mortals. If you have any questions about this project, leave them down in the comments and I'll get to some of those on more minutes early next week. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like and share it with others. And if you're new to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe to Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Happy birthday. Stay Wyatt.